All right, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Racers HQ live stream. We are going to uh, hop in at lunch here. We've got a birthday party to get to this afternoon, so we're going to go ahead and get a stream done here at lunch and hopefully entertain everybody. Uh, I know you could be reading the the redacted Mueller report, but instead we're going to hop in and do a little bit of racing. So. Uh, as we looked at last week, we're going to be racing at the uh, Charlotte Roval. It's a blast. Um, love Rovals. And we've got a race starting at noon, so I'm just going to hop right in here and uh, get to practicing. If you're in the uh, Oklahoma City area, you might check out the rental cart challenge I'll be throwing this Saturday. I believe that's at 2 o'clock Saturday down in Norman. It's a lot of fun. I like to see everybody out there. We, uh, we get all the local racers together and do some cart racing. Pretty informal stuff. We do a five wide standing start, uh, race for about 17 minutes, take a break, and do it all over again. Um, so lots of good drivers out there. It's always kind of luck of the draw, depending on which cart you get, but uh, but still, it's a it's a ton of fun. Um, I dare anybody to come out and try to beat me. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see here. Just getting this loaded up. All right. I think as far as uh, my garage projects, I've got uh, my Miata is in good shape now. I think I've got the timing correct on the uh, cam gear and the new cam installed, and things are looking real slick there. I indexed the crank dampener and that seems to be in good shape uh, we got 57 people registered for this little race here at lunch looks like my frame rates aren't all that great but maybe that was just in the pits okay I also have a new member of my garage I have a uh, my lovely wife purchased a 1990 uh, Honda Civic SI for my birthday. And it doesn't have a motor. Well, I mean, it has a motor, but it's in terrible condition. And so we're going to have to do a new D swap on that thing. Oh my gosh, okay. Apparently, I don't have a clue what I'm doing here. I thought this was a Roval I was familiar with. I could have been mistaking that for something else. So, scratch all that. Uh, I love this track business. I feel like I've got a little bit of learning to do here. So, that'll be fine. Um, I'm not sure if they changed this track or if I was thinking of a different Roval, but we'll follow this fella around, see if he knows what's happening. Car on the left. Stay on the right. Clear. Okay. Okay. I can cut all that. That works. So yeah, wife got me a 1990 Honda Civic Si off of Facebook Marketplace, and it's a bit of a basket case. Let's see, we've got a bus stop here. Okay. Serious car on there. the right. Go left. Go left. So yeah, we cleaned out the new Si over the last weekend, and. 
Okay. That's when we're coming to the infield here. Another bus stop. for this lunch race. See if I can take this full throttle. You've got a slow car on the left. You've got a slow car on the left. Go right. All right, picking up some seconds here. We should be able to get quite a few purple sectors just because this is a, apparently a new track to me. Shows you how much I know. Okay, this should be some good passing opportunities. Breaking down into this bus stop, which is kind of difficult to, to see in VR. Not the best resolution. Kind of hard to see far away objects. So it's best to make sure you know the track. Here we go, another. Oh, that's a much slower bus stop. Okay, so we'll get a black flag for that. <coughs> they say you cut the car. They say you cut the car. Okay, so that second bus stop is much smaller, but slows you down. Car on the left. Turn into the track. Hold your line. Clear on the left. <coughs> Try staying in fourth here. I don't really feel like it. Necessary to go down in the third just yet until here. Okay. This guy's using all the track. That's nice. Good idea there. Gather it up. Get set up. It's gonna be real important to have a good carry, good momentum and speed. Got a slow car on the right. Oh crap! Did it again. Okay. Painful. Painful. I like this protected pit out. Nice. Because the new cars are coming over from the right. Stay in fourth here. Go down in the third, come down to the apex. Swing way out here, this is nice, because that means that we really should be able to hang on to fourth through this little kink. Slow down, come down to the apex. Hit that wall. Stay further out here. And then we need to get a good line here. Oh, slow down a bit apparently to get the car turned. Okay. Man. All right, so we've got a fast bus stop followed by a slow bus stop. So this is the fourth corner, or fourth gear. That's easy to hang out with some momentum there. Up in the fifth, hanging on to the row here. We're gonna come down into this section. Get in the third. All right, that looks good. Down in the third, come into the infield here. And these curves are brutal. Big old snotage curves. Stay in fourth, a little bit of left foot braking to get to this long corner. Down in the third and on to the apex, coming out wide. 101 registered for this race. Everybody's coming home for their lunch break. Get some of this hot MX-5 Cup action. Just try to stay wide here a bit and not hit any walls. Get 
get the car turned and onto the roval. Oh, there we go. Lots of green. Lots of purple sector coming up here. Looks like I did that faster last time, maybe you don't have to slow as much, it's fine. Hard onto the brakes, yep, not hard enough, okay. They say you cut the car, they say you cut the car. Qualifying should be interesting. I can't seem to make any kind of consistent laps here. Let's see if I can get an idea of where we're at on lap time. So I'm doing a 132. People are doing 130 or 128s. Uh, so definitely some time to find here. All right, I need to find four seconds. No pressure. What time is it? Oh yeah, there we go. They say you cut the call. They say you cut the call. Okay, five minutes, fine, four seconds. Not gonna happen. This could be kind of brutal to the OI rating here. Hopping into a race with no practice. But, you know what? You gotta run the races. It's not called eye practicing. All right, too much. Unloaded the suspension too much there. I take advantage of this little time I have. Showing us the black flag. You didn't exit yeah, it safely. You need to make a stop and go. Hit exit. My gosh. Let's see if we can find any time first. No harm in a black flag. You've got a slow car on the left. Go right. There we go. That's seconds right there. There's one second, maybe two. Get the car turned, get on the power, get up on that banking. One and a half seconds found right there. More time. That's two seconds. Two seconds. Man. It's going to be a massive sector for me. Corner exit's going to be critical there. You've got a slow car on the right. Come in for the black flag or you'll be disqualified. They say you cut the car. They say you cut the car. <laughs> Hundred and eighteen registered for this race coming up in three minutes. Alright, my race is coming up. Here we go. Alright, lots of talent. Lots of talent. The Bank of America Roval.
right, everything's looking good. Everything's looking good. Loading up this race. So, been doing a lot of top split racing lately, which was one of my goals. We've got the I rating around 1650 now. Um, so basically the lower end of the top splits and uh, really just trying to stay racing in this MX-5 Cup for the rest of the season um, then moving on to Skip Barber next season Alright, practice perfect makes perfect. Need to really practice the uh, qualifying process here, get no off tracks, make sure all my lines work well with the track limits as defined by iRacing's computers here. Next up is qualifying. Get eight minutes to put in two laps. Doesn't take that long. Here we go. This is the warm up lap. Just try to practice good clean lines. Don't screw anything up. to see if the real fast guys really try to get any heat in their tires during this warm-up lap and qualifying. All those little details really help. Found two tenths there. A little lift to get the car to rotate. And then get on this roval. Here we go. Yeah, that wall comes at you pretty quick when you're getting onto the roval, but I think as long as we've got the car turned a bit, we'll be in good shape. Breaking down to fourth here, just a tap. Okay, car got a little unstable that time. Uh, maybe I didn't break in a completely straight line. Green, 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 green. Come to time block. Okay, so this is start finisher. Okay, I had to lift a bit there. Okay, a little left foot braking, staying fourth here. Now the third, drift out, get us up for this right hander full throttle. Then we quickly transition into braking for the right hander. Lost a little bit of time there. Lost the car a bit there. Yeah, not looking good here. Alright, coming on to the roval here. So, pretty unstable in that infield section, pretty terrible performance, um, but let's see if we can make it up here. Breaking into the bus stop, too much slow down there. Purple in my second sector. 
lots of breaking into this bus stop. I think corner exit is going to be critical here. One more lap. <laughs> Here, break down into third, come down into the infield. So far, so good as far as not uh, reaching any track limits, just wasn't the fastest infield section for that last lap. Alright, it's still looking good, we're within a tenth of our fastest. Down a tenth there, get the car to rotate. Get the car to rotate again. Just a little left foot tap on the brake to get the uh, weight to transfer off the rear. Get the rear to lighten up, get your fronts to grip. Okay, coming into our fast roval. Or sorry, our fast bus stop. Carry a lot more speed through there if you don't get uh, on that curb too much. That curb really just disrupts the car and makes it difficult to maintain stability. And then here we're going to try to get the car slowed early so we can get a good exit out of that chicane. This should be start finish line. There's the checker flag. Okay, so that was Quali. 132. So pretty about four seconds off the some of the pace we were seeing. Let's see how we're doing within our run group. Um, got two and a half minutes left. Uh, yeah, we are way down. Okay, yeah, we're, this is going to be brutal. Hopefully we'll learn a lot. But uh, fastest qualifying lap is 127. I'm the only per person in the 30s. So we are in a world of hurt coming into the rest of the race. It's going to be a 10-lap race. Oh, man. I feel like I'm about to get brutalized here. Hopefully learn something. Hopefully learn a lot. Um, let's see, got good quality here, got some people uh, racing with us today from Iberia, New England, Finland, Scandinavia, so, all right, 132 versus uh, 129 for the next four places. So we will hang out in the back there and look out for some of the carnage. Race starts in one minute. Check out the chat room. Oh man, going crazy. So many people streaming. And back to iRacing. Okay, one minute, one minute. Let's see if we can check out the, the landscape here. We've got some big fake TVs out in the distance. I'm sure that helps my frame rate. Some cardboard cutout fans. Better than no fans, I suppose. Some of those guys are a little bit more detailed. Looking good, looking good. 29 seconds till the race starts. Big catch fences here. Hopefully we won't be using those. I'll be racing on a Roval this summer in August. At Texas Motor Speedway. I really look forward to that. Hopefully I'll perform slightly better than I'm performing today.
All right, here comes the grid, two minute grid. We'll go ahead and get gridded up here. Good luck, shot the hundreds. Yep, good luck everyone. Looking for a good clean start here. That's always important. Frame rate's really struggling right now. We're at some bouncing around 40 to 60. So. Did you actually hear me with my mic too low? just don't wreck out. I'd hate to uh, disturb all of my adoring fans. HQ.com MX5 Cup live stream. It's about to go down. The best case scenario, we make up four places. Maybe try again the top five. Green, green, green. Ten laps to go. Decent start. This guy's trying to squeeze me. Don't know if I care for that. You're on the left, three wide, right side. Two wide, clear on the right. These guys are getting dicey in front of me, this might help out. Left side. Clear. Left side. Alright, this guy to my left got a better run. To the right. No sense in blocking him, but. Hold your line. Clear on the left. Not ideal to lose the place. Maybe those guys aren't uh, going down into fourth there. Maybe they're sticking with fifth. That seemed to lose me a lot of time, so lesson learned, maybe I'll hold on to fifth. See if I can catch some of them in this braking area here. Alright guys, pretty disappointing run so far. You've got a slow car on the right, go left! Somebody's parked it over on the left. Okay, stay in fourth here. Tap on the brakes, come down here. Get on the brakes a little bit harder, try to get down to the apex. Come outside. The guy behind me caught me there, so doing something wrong. That was pretty late back on the throttle. Probably more important to get the car turned than get back into the throttle. This guy's gonna eat me up behind me here. Just try to run my race. Let everybody else run their race. Car on the right. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear. Car stopped on the right. Go left. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, Orange Car seems to have my number here as well, so... Keep to the right. Really struggling this race. Really should have had some practice in, but... That's what I get for assuming I know this track. You've got a slow car on the rack. You've got a slow car on the rack. <laughs> a little shot in Freud here. We're hearing about a lot of slow cars, so... Somebody's crashing, helping me out with my lackluster performance. Oh man, I really had to get on the brakes going into that, so it's pretty rough. Need to get on the outside, sit up over to the right, get the car turned, get on the gas early on this long straight. Pretty pitiful driving. Alright, let's see if hanging out in fifth gear with a little tap on the brakes here makes sense. You've got a slow car on the rack. Go right! Nice. Oh, don't hit that guy. Crap. Okay. Hopefully we didn't take too much damage. Did get a 4X. Car seems to be running okay. We'll see in this braking zone if it's darty. Need to get ahead of that braking zone quite a bit. Well, we're just running our own race now. Nobody to bother us, really. Everybody has either left us or crashed out, so... Run some, try to run some quality laps here. See if we can catch up or take advantage of some other mistakes. Try to set out to the right here. There we go. Just a little turn to get us turned. Oh, come on. Hoping we'd use a little bit of brake to get us turned there. It didn't react quite as well as I would like for it to. Looks like I see some cars in the distance. Pretty bogged down coming out of there in fifth. Maybe I don't need to slow down as much. It seemed pretty stable. Didn't have any understeer or oversteer, so I could be. I feel like I got on the throttle a little bit sooner there, coming out of the apex. here in fourth gear. Come down to that apex. Pretty ugly. Set up on the outside for a flat corner here. Get set up for my right hander. Just kind of kiss that wall. Drift out to the right here. Get the car turned before the wall. There we go. That felt good. That felt like some go-kart track stuff. Alright. So the car behind me is lap traffic. Nine seconds behind. More lap tra traffic in front of me. I'm probably 20 seconds off the next car that matters. So. Thanks. Pretty, pretty rough situation. Hmm. Again, bogged down coming out of that. Maybe I stay in, maybe you do go down to fourth. Right at the end. I feel like last time I went down into fourth, it was too early and disturbed the car. Okay, slowed quite a bit going into that, but uh, I feel like I got on the throttle a lot earlier, up, so that might have been helpful. really 
have invested my terrible qualifying time, so we were just seriously off pace, and we didn't do any practice or lap analysis before hopping into this race, so it's important to know what you're doing. Lap six of ten. Try to go down to fourth here in the braking zone. Feels faster coming out of there. Interesting to see what the data looks like. Okay, get on. Slow this puppy down. Was on the apex, or on the gas way before that final apex. That felt good. Gotta lift just a little bit there to get the car to turn. Just a little bit of trail breaking into that corner. Lap 7 of 10. There goes the guys out front. Catch that apex. Drift out wide here. Man, really struggling for grip in that infield section. Drift onto the old uh, roval here. Last minute break into fourth. I felt fast, yep, I think so. Higher in the rev range there, exiting the corner. Alright. Car slowed, get through the bus stop, coming into the infield now. We're on lap eight. Okay, I tapped the brakes there a bit instead of just lifting, and uh, yeah, I got, got some oversteer, so that's too much. Too much weight transfer. A lift is all you need, if we even need that, I bet somebody's taking that flat, just knowing how you crazy people are. Get real close to that wall. Get the car turned and pointed at that inside wall. Seems to work well so that we can scoot onto this robot and get on the gas. <laughs> Two laps to go. Two laps to go. Currently running 7th place on the 8th lap. Not looking good for the old I rating. Take a bit of a hit. Lesson learned. Practice. Gentleman trying to pass me now. Wouldn't like that for, for that not to happen. Looks 
Looks like this red car is going to try to make a pass on me here. Last White flag, lap. one more lap to go. Keep going. Pretty frustrating. Really prefer to not. Car on the right. Get chumpified here. Keep your left. Clear on the right. Well, he got by me pretty easily there. The late braking. Man, I really feel like I've got some some learning to do in that bus stop. Cause that guy is flying. That's worth lots of seconds. Seems like I'm staying on pace with this fella uh, in most areas except for that bus stop, so really need to figure that out. Should be the last lap. Good job, guys. Great. Go right. Okay, that should be it. I want to make sure we're going to get back into that last corner. Pretty far behind. You've got a slow car on the left. You've got a slow car on the left. You've got a slow car on the left. Go right. All right. There's the checker flag. Well, that's how to be terrible. Pretty sure I was the last one running. All right, let's quit out of this real quick. See if we have any results yet. Alright, we were in the second split, so not top, the second split out of 110, that's not bad. But not seeing the actual race results yet. Let's see if we can pull this up. Okay, here we go. Matt Murphy. They did end up giving me seventh at the last minute there. 45 seconds behind. My best lap was a 132. Well off pace. Uh, yeah, so I took a 13-point hit to my I rating, got a few championship points, and uh, and actually gained a few safety rating points. Not sure why that happened. So, uh, by far not my best race. Uh, remember, kids, practice, 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 practice. I'll see you next week. Uh, we'll do another MX5 Cup race. Uh, have a great weekend. Happy Easter, and uh, hope to see you out at the go-kart track. Take care.